These are the words, uh, the beginning words of the book of Lamentations. Eicha. This is the book that we read on Tisha B'Av, which begins Motzei Shabbat this particular weekend. We already began being aware that in the summer months, we have three weeks in which we go from being sad and concerned for the future of Israel, historically, to the final destruction of the two temples in Jerusalem, the beginning of the expulsions of the Jews from Spain, the beginning of World War I and World War II, the destruction of the Jews from um, York in the 12th century, and many other events, tragic events in the life of Israel. All these events have somehow occurred around the date of Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of the month of Av. So beginning Motzei Shabbat for the whole Sunday, we'll have 25 hours of fasting, like on Yom Kippur. The difference is that we can mobilize ourselves in our cars, but we cannot eat. We cannot have intimate encounters with people. We cannot bathe. We cannot study Torah, except the reading of keynote from the prophet Jeremiah and other writers and the book of lamentations Echa. all that is happening beginning next this shabbat at the end of shabbat motzei shabbat the importance of tisha b'av in the calendar is just supreme sometimes it is called the black fast to separate it from yom kippur but certainly it concentrates a heavy load of life losses, destruction, and bad things happening to the people of Israel. On the one hand, it's good that it's only in one day that we concentrate that pain, but certainly it evokes a tremendous amount of historical events that were extremely sad. You know, Shabbat is always happy. God forbid we suffer the loss of someone in our families, we stop mourning on Shabbat. But this coming Shabbat, Shabbat Chazon, the Shabbat before Tisha B'Av, somehow you can sense that sadness even within the Sabbath service. We will hear, for example, in Lecha Dodi, uh, melodies, that belong to Elitzion that we read on, on Tisha B'Av. The Haftarah will have some verses read with Echatrop. It's the only time we permit sadness get to us through the most joyous and restful day of the week. Still, we invite you to join us on the Friday and Shabbat morning. Still, it is a time to rest and enjoy but also join us at the end of Shabbat here at the temple, in the chapel, as we begin to Shabbat off. It will be a day of introspection in the middle of the summer. Perhaps a preparation, early preparation for the high holy days. Be well and Shabbat Shalom.